Hello everybody, it's Potsy. Hello, Arclight out in Oregon. Hey, I love the new table. Let me show you some of the upgrades I was telling you I did to it. I know you guys out there were asking about it. Um, for one, let me run this guy over here. I love this soft stop. Look at that. It just stops on its own. I dig that. See this? Made this bracket. It comes down. We got some grease zerks down here. Remember those? Yeah, well, I grease it right there. Done. Um, made this stupid mount right here for this thing. This helps grease that little guy there. Chainsaw tip. Um, oh, yeah, this is kind of cool. Check this out. See this? Check it out. Green laser. It's a El Cheapo, I think it's called an iTech, I, iTech Pro, uh, iPro Tech, um, laser, it's like between 20 and 30 bucks, um, <clears throat> I got a simple mount right here, this mount uh, was like 4 bucks at my local gun shop, I made this mount right here, and it bolts on with your two mounts right here, I have a pivot point here where I loosen this, slip it in, roll it up, put the bolt, pretty simple. Um, that laser is one and a half inches on the Y off and four inches on the X off. So if I put the laser on where I want, then I can zero it out. Then I can move four inches towards me on the X and one and a half you know, to the right on the Y. And it's pretty darn close. And it's, it's pretty rigid. That's uh, 10 gauge. So that's, that's something I did there. Um, you were asking about the rub rail. See, I load 12 gauge and 10 gauge uh, 4x5 sheets on from this end all the time. And I made these little brackets here. And this is a half inch solid bar. And it bolts on and it just lets me lay the material right here. And then I can, you know, roll it out on there and slide it on there. And doesn't rub on my uh, water table edge. My old one, I used to roll it up on the edge. Anyways, I always home back to this point because I cut my sheets, and then you know when it comes back, the hypertherm needs to um, run the air to cool the tip and everything. So this piece of 16 gauge uh, stainless that I made, and I used your little mount here with a spacer, and this is a stupid beam um, clamp. And this is just here, so when it comes back, it just sets here and it doesn't blow water everywhere. Um, my table's pretty low right now. Usually I have my water up high enough that uh, this is real close to being submerged. Um, also, my own slats. Um, they are 2 and 3 sixteenths wide by 60 some long. I forget the length on them. But you guys, I think, use 12 or no, 10 gauge. I use uh, 14 gauge on mine for the simple reason that when my parts, um, little ones every now and then fall down in, it's a pain in the butt to get with your 10 gauge. But this 14 gauge, you just spread it open and grab your parts. And it works great. Um, let's see. Oh, my ground clamp. See, I have a little alligator clamp here. This ground wire, I drilled a hole in your tab here. This is the ground lug so that I know I'm getting a direct ground. This is my hypertherm cable, runs up. And what I did with it is I shielded it. I bought this uh, copper shielding from McMaster Car, it's pretty cheap. And I shielded it and I soldered it to the lug right here and then put this goofy green shrink wrap on it. I got that from McMaster Car. Um, anyways. Let's see, oh, the pump, the circulation system. I got this from McCaster Car, just a circulation pump. And what it does is, I have a switch here in the wall. Turn that on, hear it running. See, it circulates my coolant. I have a, um, an exhaust side and I have an intake all the way down there at that corner. Let's see if I can put this underneath here and show you guys what I got going on under here. See my my hose, my clamps. See, I just have it, have it run down over there to the pump. 
and it runs out across the trough there and around and I have my intake on that end. So what that does is when I'm cutting a lot, it circulates everything. Uh, it keeps my temperature uh, kind of whatever. I just think it's good to circulate. So that's that's something I do there. So turn the pump off. Um, let's see. I have my plasma. I keep it permanently turned on. I have the plug here, and then I have this switch here, so I can turn it off. I was just using it and turn it on. And I do that so it kind of isolates if I get some kind of a spike or something. Um, anyways. What else do I have going on here that I wanted to tell you about? Oh, over here, the new cabinet. I love your new cabinet. It's really cool compared to my old cabinet. Um, I went ahead and I bought the touch screen. I dig the touch screen. See, I can come here and hit manual, hit load material, and then the thing goes over there. I love having the touch screen thing. Uh, it's kind of cool. As an option, I still have the mouse, and I still use the keyboard, so it works in multiple ways. That's pretty cool. Um, also, the USB. I used to have to put my USB in here. Um, I bought a USB extension mount. I think it's for, like, an ATV or something. And I mounted it right here. So when I put my files from my laptop on the thumb drive, I just stick it straight down here and this just mounts stupid plastic mount with some I don't know if you can see Ooh, hit it with my knee I don't know it's kind of hard to see but it just mounts up in there with screws and what's really cool when you're done with uh, the thumb drive pop it out it has this little dust cover it just snaps over it so I know it's kind of corny um, that's something I, I did also, the power supply. I bought this power supply, and I use it on my old table. It works great. It also is a surge protector. I also have it through a surge protector. Um, <clears throat> but the power supply works great if our electric gets killed and it, or it flickers or something. The plasma on the wall will shut down. This thing will, sh will shut off and go into air code. But... The battery backup keeps this whole system running, and then I can zero out where I'm at, write down my G code number where I'm at, and then power the whole thing down so I can go back and find out where I was and consume, you know, continue my cut. Um, what else? What else? Oh, the main power right here. When I do the computer shutdown, uh, then I just this is a main power. I just kill it and that turns everything off. Um, so anyways, that's kind of my setup here in Ohio at Built by Pots. Hey, we do things a little crazy, but I love the new table. I love everything about it. Hopefully that answers the questions that uh, you guys were asking about how my setup was. I have the air filter up there and it runs down through a little filter there that catches any uh, moisture before it goes into the big filter. Um, I'm using the mostly fine cut consumable stuff, 45. I got the fine cut swirl ring in this week. I ran some stuff with that. It looks pretty good. But other than that, that's my setup. So, hey, I dig everything here. Hopefully that's uh, informative of what's going on. And you guys have a great weekend. We are going to here in Ohio. See ya.